Hey everybody, Gears here, and no sooner do I install the droid called Lemons than my entire power steering fluid took a dump all over my driveway this morning. The oil is still there for some reason, whatever. As soon as I turned the car on, blam, all of it. So hopefully uh, I'm, the garage here can help me out and we'll turn this back into a proper working firefighter. And here's what this area looks like now, 24 hours later. I wound up having a pinhole leak in the uh, power steering return line, and it was shooting out power steering fluid like crazy. A new part was 150 bucks. They managed to patch the hose and give me an oil change for 90 out the door. So I was pretty happy about that. I just spent the last couple hours doing the first and possibly the only dirt pass. It's a combination of a brown, a green, and a black. In some places it's a little too painterly. In other places I definitely need to uh, modify things still. The decals are holding up really nicely, except for one, which is disintegrating. So what I'm going to be doing next is a spot white pass. That is going to be to lighten things up and make it look a little like there's some more corrosion going on than there really is. This got pretty nice. Very water painterly for a little while. I'll show you the paint ratios in a bit. There's some nice tones in this area here. I've been wanting to keep the spoiler nice and yellow clean, but that definitely looks nice. I should have done a little on lemons here, but I wasn't thinking about it. I can do that next time I do this. So a spot white pass in some areas, and then a black pass, such as the first one that went down here, help unify everything. And then there's going to be some more airbrush work coming up. I've got to bring some panel lines back to life. Uh, I'll probably airbrush away some of the more egregious fractaling that's going on. Like, I like what's going on here. There's a lot of good depth in that. But some of it's just a little too watery. So that has got to go. One place I kind of missed was the yellow and red, red stripe down there. I should have paid more attention to that area. Some of the dirt tones in here had started looking a lot like dried blood all over the hood, so I had to get rid of that. This panel here was an entirely different uh, scheme, much more looking like that, but more in dried blood reds, so I figured I'd get rid of that, lest the cops pull me over for uh, DNA sampling and forensics. Got some good work on the front here, this could probably be a little dirtier. And 
there is some nice shimmering going on whenever you change the light. If I give this a final matte pass, all that would go away. That's just some nice shapes in there. Also provides a slightly different coloring. I mean, apart from looking at it this way compared to that way, there's also a shimmering middle there where it gives the edge an entirely different look. I think that's the full tour. Thanks for watching. See ya.